In agriculture, just about every day we hear about new innovations and most of them we can see if it comes to bigger tractors with more horsepower or planters that can go 10 mile an hour. Well, a lot of innovations farmers don't see behind the scenes. That includes with a new soybean inoculator. Here at Morrill Companies, we found out more about it. What we're looking at, Ty, is the uh, FlexConnect system with our inoculant products in there. Pre-inoculant treatments are composed of two parts. You have the rhizobia, that is the actual bacteria that fixes nitrogen for the soybeans, and then an extender that is used to keep that bacteria alive and viable until the soybeans are planted and in the ground, giving the grower a wider planting window to be able to utilize these products. So with this technology, we're extracting the material from the original packaging right from the beginning. And in that packaging, it's, it's all kept sterile, so we're keeping the maximum amount of bacteria alive and viable to go on the seed. When used in a conventional situation in a mixed tank, like all other inoculant products are, they're mixed in an inoculant tank that is contaminated, and those bacteria will die over a short period of time. You have to use them the same day, but even after four hours, you've lost maybe 40% of the, of the bacteria that you were planning to have. This tank right here will show us this. If we look in the tank where, where inoculants are normally used, this is very common to find, and all the things that you see in there are contaminants that outcompete the bacteria and render that, that inoculant less effective for the grower if it's been in there for any period of time. Flex Connect eliminates that contamination, keeps the bacteria counts up, makes the consistency of performance better. The reason I chose to go with the Flex Connect, so it was such an easy decision early, um, is because of the amount of waste that we had on our inoculants. We are not going to sell our customers product that may or may not be viable the next day. Uh, we get rained out. There's so many things that happen during the course of a planting season that can affect what we have in our mixed tanks, and we chose to do that for ease of use, cleanliness, and better product for the customer day in and day out. What we're looking at here is the KSI system is, has, has an overhead weight tank. It's got a very, what we call a very rate gate that feeds the seed into the treater. And the system is designed as a prescription-based system, therefore uh, the, the customer doesn't have to mix chemicals every day, which uh, that's one of the things that really is coming to the forefront because of safety. Uh, people handling chemicals day after day after day. The potential is there for somebody to get chemical in their eyes and on their skin and get burnt. Uh, the other option with the uh, KSI applicator is a, uh, an atomizer that does, uh, treats 80% of the seed in the atomizer versus in the drum. Uh, which makes it a lot more efficient. When it gets into the drum, the seed has already started to dry and you don't have near the buildup as you would by putting the, the treatment on real heavy. There's a lot of companies getting really interested in this system just for the simple fact that it saves them money. They don't have to mix inoculants again every day. And at the end of the day, most of the time, they don't run out everything that they had from that day, therefore rendering it uh, usually uh, unusable the following day. With the Flex Connect system, you're able to start up where you left off the previous day and you don't have to mix more, uh, more inoculants. When the grower comes in to pick up seed, he knows that his inoculant is 100% viable and that there's no issues whether it was loaded the day before, there's no handling, there's no mishandling. Um, and at the farmer level, we have to have the options to give every grower what it is they need for all different conditions. That's why we have so many different treatment choices and they're all custom blended uh, for our specs, for our area, for our local growers. And a lot of growers don't think about soybeans needing to have five pounds of nitrogen or more to produce a bushel of beans. So as growers look at moving from 50 bushels to 60 to 80 to 100, we're looking at nitrogen requirements that go from 300 pounds to 400 pounds or even 500 pounds of nitrogen. These bacteria can provide that nitrogen for the plant. In the absence of that bacteria, we're relying on whatever nitrogen is left over from the previous year's crop, which will fall far short of that and give us yields that are more disappointing. You can find out more about Flex Connect online at VLSCI.com. From Caledonia, I'm Ty Higgins on the Ohio AgNet.